re-entered India after a gap of uh, nine, uh, last I was here working was 97. After that I entered only uh, last two years because we won a contract with ONGC, deployed two jackup rigs of ours and started working. I had a very mixed feeling and or I'll put it more negative feeling of working with India with its own bureaucracy. I was very surprised when I came here in 2017 with the rain that it had become more transparent. I was really surprised the payment system of ONGC is now among probably among the top three best payment system on the due date. After all, what a businessman needs is, oh, I will work, but on due date you give me so my cash flow is maintained. And I was very surprised. First, I came here in 91 and won the contract of ONGC for a rig and we, I worked till 97. Then I landed in a lot of problems with income tax. Days. Not for anything. They said your intentions were not very good. I was trying to avoid taxes. I said no, it's not tax avoidance, it's tax planning. How can you say? Because I brought the rig here that time through Mauritius. So they said it is a tax avoidance or something. And I said, thank you very much. After the contract over, I said, I will go. I'm not interested anymore. So we went. But it was not a, a losing proposition. After that, I started uh, my shipping company's tankers here. I said, I will operate uh, the smaller tankers from Bombay, our office in Bombay. The ships were standing in bureaucratic hurdles and this and that. I decided, let's quit out in that. Then I came with your part of it in November uh, 2018. And I declared the group is interested now if this is the payment system. And the uh, group is interested to invest in India if the, after the election the stability comes. And we will go up to $500 million to invest in India. And we started preparing foundation for that and waited for the election. Now the election, not only the stability has come, a thumping majority is there. So <clears throat> it will be very difficult for opposition and others to create too much disturbances. So stability, that means it's good for industry. And this is the best time when there's a doldrum in the rest of the world, India, to attract FDI as foreign direct investment as much as possible. It will uh, jump start the economy. Yeah, in India. And this is the reason why I'm back here after November. No, it's the new. So we said we'll invest in VLCC, very large crude carriers, to import, uh, to bring the oil for India. First oil okay. is till 20 years. And the, uh, only there are four VLCCs the shipping corporation has. All other, you need nearly 150 VLCCs to cater to this India's need. So all others are foreign. I said, let's build this in this interim period. Mm -hmm. So we are not building new tanker, we are taking buying second hand and bringing this oil. So this is, itself is a uh, 200 to 220 million dollars mm -hmm. out of 500. By our aim was within uh, 2019, but now uh, because of the election waiting this, it may take by middle of next year. So we, are, we have gone to Gujarat government and said, locate a port, which we take over, develop it, and bring from there 
compress gas directly. I cannot bring, uh, there, there is no uh, method at this moment, large ships because the steel weight of compressing will be too high and too costly. It has to be smaller. But shuttle service, go, bring, go and bring. And then the technology will slowly find its own answer how to enlarge. Mm -hmm. So that is what we are working on today. We have submitted two, three which is for ideal, but they have to give allocators and authority. I cannot say which one will they give mm -hmm. till that they give. But we have uh, we have signed a MOU with them. We have also submitted the project. We have also given preferential areas. I am only preferential areas only two closest point to the Persian Gulf. The second is it should have a minimum twelve meters of water. Okay, I don't want silted port that I am spending. 